Today we're going on an adventure in search of something about the size of your thumb. What I discovered was that because I'd been watching this bird so long, I'd learned to recognize the sounds that she made when she came into a nest. Oh, there's a bird right there. And I applied that down on the West Bay walkway and I started finding nests all over the place. Eric Pittman of Esquimalt has become so good at finding hummingbird nests, he's been recruited by BBC Wildlife to go to Alaska to find nests up there. I know, it's my dream come true. The dream began about five years ago in his backyard when Eric discovered a mom feeding her chick. And I was excited because I'd never seen a hummingbird before in my backyard. So I grabbed my camera and I took a picture and it was a lousy picture. But I thought, well, you know, I've blown a once in a lifetime opportunity. But the bird came back the next day and I saw it again. There's a lot of little branches that they set on here. And I kept watching and before I knew it, I'd found its nest. So I started photographing fr from then on. And I always thought it was gonna be a once in a lifetime opportunity, but the bird just kept having nests. So I kept filming. Now Eric spends 20 to 30 hours every week finding, photographing, and filming hummingbirds. His website, hummingbirdsupclose.com, attracts visitors from all over the world. And he's even set up a hummingbird live camp. At any given time, there's usually two, 300 people on there. I've had over half a million hits on it, so that's pretty exciting to me. It's fascinating, they're tiny little birds, and to see them go from an egg to a chick to a flying little bird, to me is, is incredibly interesting and it's such a challenge to photograph. I mean, they're so small, it's almost like microscopic photography. Despite all the success finding hummingbirds here, Eric's a bit nervous about locating them in Alaska for the BBC. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know if I can find one. I expect I can. I've found about 60 over the last few years, so I have a good shot of it but I don't know. For me, it's kind of redemption because I've been putting my hummingbird videos out there for free on Facebook for five years with no expectation of anything coming back. So when BBC came back with an offer, it's like, wow, it's, it's worked. Somebody's actually seen my stuff out there and thinks it's good. So it's a validation. You know, it'll be a great adventure. I don't know if it's ever gonna make me any money. It's not about that. No, what it seems to be about is not worrying about money but doing what you love. Who knows? It could turn into the adventure of a lifetime. In Esquimalt, this is the con.